What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had finished up our O2 miner. It's it's now operating mostly off of solar power, which is cool. Um, and we also modified one of the hallways in the newer ship, which has yet to be named. Um, by the way, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, no guarantees that I'll use them or anything, but it definitely can't hurt to have suggestions on the new, a new name for a ship. Now, in an addressing the lag issue, uh, which I mentioned in the last episode that some spots got really framey, there's a couple things going on that I've been testing. One, uh, this direction seems to be okay. When we get over here, we start to get a little spike, then it clears. If I get over here... It's not too bad, and then there's certain spots right about there that it hangs up a little bit. Um, it does seem to, to lag up around the asteroid, which was some people's suggestion that maybe being next to a big asteroid has caused um, a lot of voxel terrain stuff, which very, very much could be true. Um, some also suggested that if there are big derelicts like asteroid stations or something nearby uh, it could cause a problem so I went ahead and turned on my scanner my antenna and I boosted the radius up to like I don't know something stupid like 50 kilometers or something um, yeah it's it's like 50 kilometers or something and if I do the scan thing I have three one is a small station Two, one is a drifting, which I'm guessing is a, is a big ship, but it's huge. And then I have a huge stationary one. Um, so I'm guessing there is a station and a ship that are both very large, which could be causing problems. They're both... They're like almost 20 kilometers away, though. So I'm kind of surprised that that would cause an issue from that far away. But it's possible, I suppose. It almost seems to be like a loading issue that when new stuff gets loaded in, it spikes for a second and then it clears up, which is kind of odd. Um, I will admit to not knowing much about how they have the um, loading system in place, like, you know, chunk loading in Minecraft kind of thing. Like, I don't really know how Space Engineers does it. However, I did recently read a guide that was talking about performance improvement, and one of them mentioned these wireframe blocks that because it can't do any, um, oh, how do you pronounce that word? Occlusion? O occlusion, I think? Occlusion? Something like that? Um, basically cutting out back ends of blocks that you're not seeing. So that, like, for example, with this, it's not rendering all the blocks because you can't see them. So the ship almost becomes one solid block instead of multiple squares. Um, which is also why the textures connect, if I understand it correctly, is because it stops rendering the side blocks. These it can't do it with because they're not complete. So that causes a problem in terms of, um, well, the, the system, as far as the system's not able to improve this because of some of the, the blocks still being um, there. So... I think my new focus is kind of going to be to build and fix the thing as we go instead of leaving it all in wireframe um, so that it actually will kind of clear up some of that stuff. Um, and I also, you may notice my hotbar looks kind of weird. Um, I downloaded a new mod pack that was suggested, suggest well I, sh I guess it's a mod pack. It adds some mods. Um, I don't know if it will load for me correctly, because it took forever to load this up. Um, but it's got some interesting things, like an airtight rotor. I didn't know that rotors weren't um, airtight. I was under the impression that they were, but now that I think about it, the block base being somewhat rounded kind of makes sense that it's not actually sealed. Um, this one is pretty cool. Uh, these three are pretty interesting. Actually, all of these. They're uh, interior conveyors. So basically, from the surface, you can't see them. They look like interior walls, but they actually have conveyor tubes inside them, which is pretty darn awesome. 
Um, you also have some conveyor tubes that are like longer tubes instead of uh, multiple singles. Um, armored lights, hand railings, uh, airtight collectors and conveyor sorter. A mini battery, it's a one by one block battery, which is pretty awesome. Um, conveyor tubes that are small but lengthier. Um, spotlights, pistons, and merge blocks that are airtight. Advanced road rotors and regular rotors. Uh, collectors and sorters. There's an armored camera slope, which is interesting to me. Um, an armored camera in the first place, which is kind of cool. And then these were really why I ended up getting them, is it's, it's multi-dimensional solar panels, which we all know how much I've wanted some different shaped solar panels. So like for our miner, I think the miner is kind of where it's going to be. I don't think I'm going to mess with it. But I mentioned in the last episode I wanted like a 3x3 three three instead of this... Um, dimension that it's at. So like this one is actually a 3x3 three three solar panel, which is kind of cool. Um, this is a 1x1, one one, so like you could, you know, attach it to the drill or, you know, stuff like this if I had the components. You do need a mini solar cell, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thing, is I'm thinking of we're probably just going to have to buckle down, use the resources, and build. Now, one thing that I'm not sure about is how it's going to treat... Um, I didn't really think about it, but how it's going to treat these conveyors that are under this catwalk. Um, if that would be considered sealed or not. What I'm thinking is if I seal this with glass to cover the batteries, um, and then you have the, the built catwalks, Maybe then it will see it as completely sealed up kind of thing from the bottom. Um, but I'm not really sure. I do think I'm going to go ahead and at least at least these right here. In this section... Wow, my frames are really getting bad though. Like it's not improving. They're getting worse. Um, all of these sections where there's cat walks or grav walks basically um, I do think I'm gonna replace with um, standard uh, vanilla blocks to improve on the um, uh, resource cost sorry it does seem to be when I'm looking towards the asteroid or the mark 3 somewhere in there is making things worse but it really does seem like loading spikes. Like, if I sit here long enough, the, the frame rate clears up. But then if I do anything, it kind of drops off for a second again. So, it's really kind of odd. I'm not entirely sure if it's a frame rate issue or a loading issue, to be honest. Um, hopefully sometime soon, um, I would... I didn't think about that. I probably shouldn't have broke all those, because I think the batteries may have been connected to them. Ah, um, oh crap. I left it on the, the that new mod pack that seems to take up the inventory screen for days. Um, but yeah, um, for those of you that didn't uh, pick up on it in the last episode, or no, two episodes ago, actually, um, I had mentioned starting a Patreon account. I do think I'm going to proceed with that. Um... There won't be any kind of obligation or anything like that, but um, if you'd like to support me, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, once I get that page up, there will be an announcement video on that kind of stuff in the in the near future, probably in the next couple weeks or so, when I get a page squared away. Good lord, and how long this is taking! <laughs> wow! Whew, I might need to consider going through and clearing out some mods. Wow, that was intense. All I need is a vanilla block. Just give me a vanilla block. Okay. Um, wow. Man. That just took forever. I can't believe how long that took. Um, but yeah, what I was about to say... Before I was blindsided by that. Yeah, see, it's sticking in here, too. So it's probably the asteroid or... Um, something out 
in the distance in that direction that's causing issues. Okay, I have 300 plates. That should be okay. Um, anyways, what I started to say was one of the things that um, I'm going to list as a milestone as to what that milestone will be, I don't know. I haven't actually done the math on it yet to figure out what I would really need. Um, but it is going to be improving my equipment. Uh, if I can reach a certain milestone on there, I would like to basically put funds towards improving my PC. Um, I have a few that I've seen on iBuyPower and stuff that I've configured and tried to do a couple different configurations to, you know, optimize what you're paying versus what you're getting kind of thing. Of course, there's the behemoth ones that you can get, but sometimes you can also do decent with a... a way less of a cost, so um, I've been playing around a little bit on there. I'm, I'm getting itchy, I just don't have the money to do it right now uh, with what I, I'm, I'm, you know, already not entirely sure uh, if I will be able to maintain uh, my channel full-time as my, like, job, or if at some point I'm going to have to end up getting a, another job just for um, funding and, you know, bills and things like that, so um, that's part of what's prompted the, the move towards Patreon is to see if I can supplement my income and actually reach a certain milestone to where it's like, okay, I'm I'm making what I need to keep my head above water at this point kind of thing. Um, and like I said, uh, it's it's not going to be a, an obligate... Uh, man, I have such a hard time with that word. Obligatory type thing or anything. It's totally up to you whether you want to do that. Uh, but there will be more information on that later. Anyways, my point to that was that I, I would like to start allocating any kind of excess funds that I end up getting towards upgrading my computer and my overall equipment. Like, you know, I'm using a, a cheaper, you know, a simple headset type thing for recording and stuff. I'd like to at some point actually invest in an actual microphone kind of thing uh, for a more professional sound and filters to where you're not getting as much of a uh, fan sound from the computer in the background, all that kind of stuff. You know, just overall improvements for equipment and things. Um, but, because actually, some of you may not be aware of this. Some of you have asked me about it, so I've, I've been um, forthcoming about it. I mean, it's not like I hit it or anything, but um, my computer is actually going on like five, maybe close to, no, about five years old. Um, so, considering that it can still keep up with most of the newer games, I think I did a pretty good job of putting the darn thing together. Um, but at this point, it's one of those after five years or so, you could, unless you just had a really beast rig, they all get to a point where they start feeling their Cheerios kind of thing. So I think mine is starting to feel it a little bit. It's just getting to that point where uh, if I run everything on high end, it just starts to let me know that I'm running everything on high end. Um, it's like, hey now, I can't do what I used to when we were running, you know, older games. Uh, I'm going to need some other stuff. Let's cut this. Maybe like that. Alright, that should be good. Um, and I need to put together... Are, is all that I'm waiting for on these the energy cells? Power cells. Okay, these will be computers. Oh! You know what I just thought of? I can... I would have a hard time believing this would cause all that lag. Um, but I wonder if it's those components that are laying in on the ground in the in the Mark II. Oh, energy! Oh, energy. Wait, what was that? Why is that red? Oh, it's because it's off. Okay. I was like, eh, what's not working? Wow, 30,000%. Alright. All right, let's run a test on that. Some people have said overloaded um, machines can cause power spikes or lag spikes. So when we get up to that, let's turn off that. 
No, it's still kind of... I think we tried that before, actually. It's still pretty gl uh, glitchy. But, if you recall in the last episode, I broke one of these batteries to get to its components, and these are still laying here. Inventory full. Holy crap. This... That's kind of insane. How many did I even pick up? Oh, 29. Oh, it's because I have a bunch of other crap on me. Okay, that's that'll do it every time. Okay, so let's see. What do I have on me? I thought I used everything. Interior girder. Or no, that's steel tubes. Large tubes. Okay. Uh, none of that uses that. This uses small tubes and motors. So let's go ahead and put those in place. Um... We also need to build the, um, whatchamacallit, the rotor down here. And I'm dreading building this reactor. I really am. Like, I've kind of been literally avoiding it. Um, do I have to build the head part, too? Yes, we do. Okay. Because, oh gosh. Ugh. 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 I have nightmares now. Dense steel plates? What the heck is that? Alright. Alright. We're switching up gears. We're, we're going for it. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing for the rest of the episode. We're gonna put this thing together. Um, actually, let's look up real quick what those dense steel tubes... No way. What? It has... <laughs> That's almost a thousand iron for two dense steel plates. This arc reactor better power the world. <laughs> like, shotgun ammo tracer. Oh yeah, I downloaded a bunch of new weapon mods too. Um, the other one I'm looking for is arc reactor component. There it is. Holy crap. What are the regular reactor components? Silver, gravel, iron. 15, 10, and 5. 375, 250, and 125. What? I... I'm going to have to grind every single ship, asteroid, and station from here to the end of the game. <laughs> to find arc fuel. The heck is arc fuel? I wonder if that's what this takes. That would make sense. It's an arc reactor. And it looks like Iron Man. So, that makes sense. I thought this was actually like a reactor reactor just on steroids, but I guess that makes more sense. <sighs> Alright. That and that we're holding off on. Good lord. Uh, we're gonna try and do everything else that we can. So let's get... <sighs> okay. New plan. New plan. I know. I've just changed plans about four times, and I'm not sticking with any of them. My bad. My bad. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't need that many. I'm only grabbing these because blocks seem to use a lot of them. Alright, we're going to do a new small ship. This is going to be the tiniest welder you have ever seen in your life. New small ship. Um, let's put it like this. Alright, tiniest ship ever. Uh, actually, we might even make use of these uh, little mini batteries. Because, why not? Alright, I'm not necessarily worried about it being air pressurized. So literally we are going to do just what we need to do. What do we need for a welding ship? We got a battery here. We need a large container. We're going to use the M thrusters because they're really cool and easy to, to work with. Uh, so I want a large cargo container. That's a small one? Whoa. Okay, then. Actually, we're going to get rid of this for now, because I don't know where I'm going to put that. Alright. So we got a large cargo container. 
What do we have for options in welders? Not much. So let's just go... Well... Let's just go with the big one. The big one. I think it should go right about there. Did I hit new large ship or new small ship? I feel like I hit large ship. That welder looks gigantic. No, maybe I didn't. It's using the recipe for a small ship. Darn, that thing looks huge. Alright. So there's that. We got a welder. Now we need power. Which... I don't know how much the mini batteries hold. Uh, main can- oh yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, <clears throat> ignore that. That comes later. Um, oh wow, there's some other stuff too. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the glass bridge things. We gotta use all that stuff. Uh, I don't want to open that other tab because it takes all afternoon, but I'm trying to find... Oh, I guess I could just type it in. Battery. So the mini battery, how... 1, 1, 1, and 2. Wow, it's even smaller than those. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, let's put it... Let's just do, like, six of them. One on each side. That should be good, right? Yeah. Um, now, we need... a... cockpit? Let's do something... Oh, I think this is the cheapest one. Pretty sure. So let's put you, like, right up here. Literally. This is going to be, like, the smallest thing ever. Alright, so we got power, resources... Oh, we need a connector. Uh, we don't need an airtight connector. We just need a connector. Mega connector? No, nope, that's not what we need. Armored. That's interesting. Let's just grab a regular one. Okay, now, for the last step, we need... Oh, I need large steel tubes for the thrusters, okay. So let's do... All of these blocks that we have first. And then we'll do computers, rotors, and displays. And large steel tubes. Because that seems to be the consensus of things we're going to end up needing. And I might siphon off of... Do I... I don't have a connector on that. We might have to remedy that situation. Um... What else? Do we need any other blocks? I don't think we do. We just need thrusters. Which... They do require construction components and steel plates, so we'll keep those. Whatever we have on us. Um, actually, we'll even these out to 100. Get rid of these. Let's do 20 thruster components, 20 large tubes, 10 girders, some computers. Wow, I'm going to need to make more computers. Unless I have them and don't remember. Uh, oh! And then let's grab, like, ten of these energy cells. That should... <laughs> Literally, this is probably gonna be enough. Like, it's just a tiny little... <gasps> I don't have any gyroscopes. Crap. That's what I needed. Okay, welder's done. Batteries are almost done. Yep, I needed gyroscopes. I probably can just do one, like, right behind the... Um... Cockpit or something. Display, and I'm out of computers. Crap! 
Dang it, man. I really need computers. Like, I don't know why I'm so broke on those. Um, I thought I was... I thought I made some recently, too. Are we not... Oh, I was gonna say, are we not powered right now? Alright, um... So I don't need the energy cells anymore. Uh, I am... I didn't do the thrusters yet. I don't remember what... I oh, displays. Let's grab all of these. And let's grab some bulletproof glass. I don't really think I need anything else for gyroscopes. Let's grab some of those and some of these just in case. And then we'll take whatever computers they have made so far. We're getting better at just throwing together little ships. Or at least I think we are. And you probably don't need like to put the bulletproof glass and all that crap in there. You just need that to be functional. Um, Alright. I need... Ooh! I wonder if we can pull off, like, a mini gyro. Maybe. Mini. Um... Yeah, let's do a... Let's do a mini. Maybe two. Let's do, like, two minis. We'll put them... Like, right here. And right there. Ooh! Those are cool! Alright. Thruster time. Um, let's just kind of put thrusters along here. I doubt we'll need more than one in each direction. That's my theory, anyway. Um... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Let's put... We have up, down, left, right. Let's put two forward, and then we'll put... Uh, we'll put two back. There we go. And then I'm just going to have to build a connector for... Um, well, actually, I don't. I could connect it to the Mark Three. No, I'd have to connect the Mark Three to it. That would be difficult. So, let me temporarily just build a um, a connector. Oh, the gyroscopes. We gotta. Oh, and these back thrusters. I love how we're decided to do this in like five minutes ago, and we're literally almost done with it. I'm telling you, man, this is like the smallest ship you'll ever see in your life. I may also turn off um, cargo ships for now, because we haven't been using them. And uh, quite frankly, they're just another source of lag kind of thing. I will admit, though, it has seemed to have cleared up mildly. Uh, I'm still getting a little here and there, but since we replaced these with full blocks and started to weld things together, they, they are a little better. It is a little better. Oh, there we go. I have stuff that I needed. Oh, that's just construction components. Construction components. And I don't think I'm going to worry about the bulletproof glass for, um... Uh, for the conveyor tubes, because they don't really need it. Okay, where is my miner here? Um, let's turn on... Let's turn on the gyros and the thrusters. Nope! Thrusters. There we go. Okay. 
now I'm going to see with with it moving like this I don't think we'll have a problem um, let's turn off the charger part for now um, actually for the moment let's leave that on I'm gonna add another connector down here I know this episode is getting a little bit longer and I didn't really cut out some stuff, but if I'm being perfectly honest, it's actually because I was trying to do some buffer recording. Um, I had some family stuff that's coming up and I wanted to be off for that. So I was recording it ahead of time. So if this is a little draggy or boring or you're like, you know, why didn't you just cut some of this out? That's kind of why. And if it really bothers you, I apologize for that. What do I need? What do I need? Construction component. I have to admit, there's times where I feel like I'm broke in this game, and then there's times where I feel like I've actually got, like, a ton of stuff. I think it was steel plates that I was missing to place the connector down. Please make it without the computers. Ugh, you suck. Suck game. Okay. We do have computers, though. It's all those art components and crap that I am not looking forward to. That's not going to be fun at all. Alright, now for this to work... Um, we have to turn off the recharge. Uh, we are going to have to jump this a little bit though I think maybe I don't think we connect I don't think we can connect to this without a without it already having power no okay let's turn that off then uh, the reactor should be off power usage that's weird okay um, and for those of you that were saying I need more batteries for this ship, the reactor is pulling, when the reactor's on, it's getting 2.8% of the power usage of what it's putting out. The batteries is only using 0.98%, so it's actually doing more power with batteries. Um, just, just as an FYI. Oh, and with that in mind, I'm a dum-dum. I can just take this reactor, because this ship doesn't need it anymore. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, um, and let's throw a small reactor. Why can't I put that there? I've never understood that. Let's just put it right there. That's good enough. There we go. Now, lock that in. Well, that's kind of locked in, but... Oh, it's, I don't have the batteries on. I was like, why am I overloaded? Okay, now, here's the trick. We need to rotate this... Without it, preferably without running into the other ship over here, but to where this is set up. Now we turn this battery off. Now what we can do is set this one's batteries to recharge, and they will be charging off of the solar panel instead of pulling from that guy, which is pretty cool. Now, the next step, of course, is, you know, you all know me, um, I'm gonna put solar panels on it. <laughs> um, let's see, let's, let's test, actually, real quick, um, these smaller ones. So we have, there's a 2x2 two two and there's a 3x3. Three three. Uh, I don't think it'll let me put that there. Oh, that would fit perfectly, actually. If the if I hadn't put the thrusters and everything there. All right, so this is two mini solar cells, one and one girder. So I'm going to place these here, but I probably won't 
do them yet. Like, I, I probably won't finish them this episode. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I'll line all that up or not. Uh, I might just leave the back of it set up. I'm not sure. Oh, I can put one there. Ha ha ha. That's funny. We could also do little one by... Is it... It's attaching to the gyroscope. That's weird. Hmm. That's kind of funny. And you could do like this and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do all that. I'll probably just leave the, the ones on the back. Um, anyways, I think this is just getting kind of crazy long, so I'm going to end the episode here. On that note, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!